this section, we're going to start getting into how to customize our views, how to use embedded Ruby, and really how to kind of change the look and feel of our application. Now, the first thing that I want you to look at is if you go to app, views, layouts, application, HTML, dot ERB, you'll see this is our main application file. So our main application uh, view file, I should say. So everything that comes into the application gets first processed through this file. Uh, as you go on and become more advanced, you'll find that you can actually have multiple application layout files, and in the controller, you can dictate which one you want to render. But for this course, we're just going to focus on having one, and honestly, for probably about 80% of the applications that I build, uh, I simply use the single application file, and that's all that's needed. Now, to see some ways of customizing this, uh, or to just play around with it a little bit, Say if I wanted to pull, put in some type of uh, navigation element right here. So uh, say I wanted to do something like, and I'm going to use embedded Ruby for this. So I can say link to home, go with root path again, and then create a few more of these. So I'm going to say about about path, contact, contact path, blog, blog path, and then the last one, projects, projects path. Okay, now if I come and start up the server, you can see that uh, you'll be able to see that you'll have each access to each one of these on each page. So if I come here and hit refresh, you can see all of these are right here. So if I click contact, about, blog will take us to an outside site, projects, all of these are here. So the reason why you'd put these in the application file as opposed to, say, putting them in each file here, if I come in, you can see it disappears and it's only on the about page. But then if I go to projects, it's no longer there. And uh, a very important principle in building Rails applications or any really software development in general is do not repeat yourself. So it would be a horrible idea to come here and then come on our contact page and paste this in and then come on the home page and then paste it in here. Uh, that's just really bad programming because every time that you make a change, you're going to have to make it in all those different spots. But by putting all of this right here on the application layout file, now you have access to each one of these values and uh, it makes it a lot easier. So that's just a basic idea on what you do with uh, placing in a header or navigation element and giving you a basic idea on what the application layout file does. Now in the next video, we're gonna talk about how to use partials in our views.